Hurricane season starts in just a few weeks, if you can believe it. And tonight, new signs of Florida's property insurance market is still a big mess. Aid on your side has learned state-backed citizens' property insurance is adding thousands of policies each week. Investigator Moss Society is joining us now with a snapshot of the market. It's a bad sign, isn't it? It's definitely not a good sign. Yeah. So people are losing their private insurance and they are being forced into citizens, the state-backed insurer of last resort. And not just a couple of people. On average, citizens is adding 7,000 500 policies wow. each and every single week. So listen to part of my conversation with a company spokesman. Our policy count um, is growing statewide, including the Tampa Bay area. In general, you know, companies are, are, are making their policies more restrictive, uh, restricting who they're picking up and leaving some areas of the state. But if you get rejected by citizens, it's a safe bet that you're gonna be spending a lot for property insurance. Uh, yes. Yeah, forced insurance is so incredibly expensive. Now, Michael Peltier handles legislative and external affairs for citizens, and which is days until the start of hurricane season, 17 days, as Josh says. He says citizens now insures nearly 1.3 million Floridians. So all of those reforms we saw recently, they are not slowing down the growth. Now, this is really important information to have if you're trying to get a snapshot of the market. Private insurance companies, Josh, they are able to hide most of their data by calling it a trade secret mm. so this gives us a little bit of insight into what's actually happening well and most of us know that people turn to citizens when there's no other option and i think a lot of people just think that they're automatically included do citizens ever reject any of these policyholders? a little bit of good news it's pretty rare i'm told that less than one percent of homeowners are rejected that being said they do have very extensive eligibility requirements you have to have inspections mm -hmm. the value of your home cannot exceed a certain number and we're going to get into all of those details tonight Boy, if you get rejected though you said it's going to be yeah. expensive very mm -hmm. expensive yeah all right thanks so much for that